Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Welcome back. Promised you a little bit more sunshine today. And with that also come some heavier showers that we're seeing across the region. Not too bad here across Eugene. For the most part, today has been mostly dry for the South Willamette Valley. Temperature still managed to get up to around 60 degrees, but you can kind of see just how scattered in nature these showers are. And this just remnant moisture kind of left over from the past storm system. They kind of moved through earlier this week. Again, we have some heavier ones kind of up toward the foothills, toward Detroit, so on and so forth. But for the most part, we're going to start clearing overnight tonight, and that is going to lead to some issues tomorrow morning. So anytime we get frost development across the region, you have to have temperatures usually right at or just below freezing, clear skies and minimal wind. Anytime we get a little bit of a wind gust, that kind of tends to dissipate frost, and that's why we're not expecting that tonight. We get calm winds, clear skies and not below freezing temperatures, but we're going to get pretty darn close 35 degrees as we wake up on Wednesday morning. So again, I know a lot of you folks have started planting so on and so forth. Uh, you want to make sure you cover up those plants, especially if you have any tomato plants outside. But for the most part, if they're potted, just bring them inside because we're going to be dealing with some cold temperatures tomorrow morning, but then we rebound nicely. We're going to likely be very close to 70 degrees as early as tomorrow. The reason for this actually cold air in the morning and warm afternoon is high pressure building across the West Coast is what we call a high pressure ridge. It kind of mimics a mountain right here over much of the Northwest that tends to block any active weather from moving in toward the region. And you can see that as a result, we have a very impressive area of low pressure just offshore, but it's going to be sent just to the north up to Alaska while this high pressure tends to block it here across the northwest. So we're going to see the effects of that overnight tonight. Clearing skies, a little bit of fog, maybe down towards the south Umqua Basin if you're headed up towards Sexton Mountain. But for the most part, it is going to be clear skies from here on out. So if you want to get the car wash, I know a lot of us has been kind of putting this off lately, but if you have all that crushed scoria on your car, well, now is the time to get that rinsed off because Thursday, Friday, all the way through the weekend, we're expecting clear, sunny skies. And as a result, the temperatures soar 85 degrees by Friday, and we're expecting weather to likely cool back down by Monday and Tuesday. And the reason why is a shifting pattern once again. So here's the high pressure system offshore. It starts to build into the northwest. See how it acts as almost like a bubble, kind of clearing much of the region. That starts to change, though. Again, we are expecting rain chances, cooler weather to likely move back into the picture as early as around May 17th. So big story about tomorrow is some gusty winds toward the Oregon coast. We could have wind gusts near 40 miles per hour. Going to be dealing with high swells through Friday, but again, 78 degrees for the Umqua Basin. We are up to near 90 degrees by Friday. Cooler weather, though, just on the horizon. Again, we are expecting temperatures back down into the mid-70s by next week. For the Cascades, we had snow showers. Not anymore. 72 degrees by Saturday. Cloud cover will likely move back in for next week. And for Eugene and Corvallis, 65 tomorrow. Big jump by Thursday. That does come with breezy conditions. And we're going to talk about 85 degrees this weekend. So, Matt, um, now is the time to get your car wash. Now is the time. All right. <laughs> um, kids. Get ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's one of the